everybody. Welcome to Soar From Home with me, Lindsay. Happy Monday. And today is Mickey Monday because I saw some people at our outdoor bingo and campfire program and we were chit-chatting and they said they want more Disney content. And what am I gonna say? No, of course not. You guys know Disney's my thing. So, of course, I gotta bring it to you. And I figured out two different things we're gonna do in this video. First is, we're gonna play Never Have I Ever Disney Edition to see who's a really big super Disney fan and see how many things we've done that is Disney that you wouldn't even think about. And then I searched high and low and I found five Disney facts that I didn't know until this morning. So I'm gonna share them with you guys and see. Let me know in the comments below when I say them if you guys have heard them before. Now, a couple of announcements. Tomorrow, you still guys, you guys still have time to sign up for tomorrow's game night. That's on Google Meet. You just gotta go on, go into projectsoarmn.org, hit register online. It's five dollars. You can register to come and have fun with us tomorrow night on Google Meet. And August is now live, so that's gonna be coming um, in the mail soon and it's live open for registration on our website. We're doing a few new things in August, which includes some free um, events where you can come in and get to know the routine of coming into a class because there's a lot more that go into it now, like getting your temperature read, wearing your mask, um, getting your hand sanitizer and all of that. So we're running some free programs. Um, one is to get comfortable with our online programming and any technology help you need. And one is to get used to the coming into the building and how that all works. So go ahead, go online, check it out. Of course we have, as always, we have our online classes. We are gonna do some more outdoor programming in August and we have two activity boxes, but I have revamped them and I did some new kind of activity boxes this month. So see if they'll suit you and we're gonna get into it. So for never have I ever, what it is is that you put 10 fingers up. Now I'm gonna read a Disney thing. So say if I said, have you ever heard of Disney before? If you had, you would put a finger down and you'd be like, okay, I've done one Disney thing, okay? So we're gonna see how many fingers we can get to go down, all right? And don't worry, it's not a big deal if you don't put them down, if you do put them down. Maybe it's something that you can put on your bucket list to do or, cause some of them are things you can do at home. So see if there are things you'd wanna check out this week or not, all right? Some things you wouldn't be able to do, but some things you could. All right, so 10 fingers up. If you don't wanna hold your hands up, that's totally fine. Another way to do it is grab a piece of paper and a scratch, like a scratch piece of paper and a pen and just make marks for all the ones you've done, okay? Because sometimes that can be tiring to hold your hands up. All right, number one. If you have ever visited a Disney park, like Disneyland, Disney World, or if you've gone somewhere else in the world, like Disney Paris, put a finger down. I have been to both Disneyland and Disney World, so I'm putting my finger down. Number two, if you've ever watched on the TV, computer, tablet, Disney Channel, put a finger down. We didn't have Disney Channel until I was like in high school. So, but I have seen it. Number three, if you have ever bought a Disney movie, put a finger down. So any movie put out or owned by Disney counts. So you have to think about what movies are owned by Disney. Remember Disney Pixar counts, Marvel. All right, number four. I'm not doing so well, right guys? I already got three figures out. If you've ever taken a photo with a Disney character, put a finger down. I've definitely done that lots. I love to do that. So um, maybe I'll have to uh, show you guys some pictures one time on a YouTube video. So four was if you've ever taken a photo with a Disney character, put a finger down. That was the last one. Five, if you've ever, so if you have a phone and you've set the ringtone as a Disney song, put a finger down. 
So if on your phone, when somebody calls you, it plays the Disney song, put it figured out. My phone has uh, always had a Disney ringtone for a really, really long time. Currently it is Under the Sea by, uh, in from Little Mermaid. All right, so I have a whole hand down. I'm only five to go. How are you guys doing? Let me know, we're halfway through. Let me know in the comments. Number six, listened to the song. If you've ever listened to the song, it's a small world. Put a finger down. So have you ever heard? For reference, it's the song that goes, it's a world of laughter, a world of cheer. That one. And then it goes, it's a small world after all. My son, it's his favorite ride song since he was three months old. Oh my goodness. Okay. Number seven. Though this goes with the theme of our online party hangouts this month. If you have ever watched Toy Story, the first Toy Story movie, put a finger down. How do you guys do? Have you guys all seen number one Toy Story? I have not seen number four yet, but I have seen one through three. So don't spoil it. If you see me, I don't want to know. I got to watch it myself. Just haven't gotten around to it. Been busy. Number eight. If you've ever watched Lilo and Stitch movie, put a finger down. That's number eight. I got two fingers left. You guys with me? Are you guys ahead of me? Well, you can't be ahead of me. I think I've lost a finger every single time. All right. So number eight, that was, again, watch the Lilo and Stitch movie. Number nine, there's two more left. If your favorite character of all Disney is Mickey Mouse, put a finger down. I can't put my finger down. One, it's because I have too many favorite characters. I do really, he's like one of my top ones though. But if your favorite character is Mickey Mouse, go ahead, put your finger down. And number 10, if you have ever sung the song, Let It Go from Frozen, put a finger down. How'd you guys do? I got nine out of 10 fingers down. 10's hard. I can't choose a favorite Disney character. I have like all of them. So how'd you guys do? Did you guys get all 10 fingers down? Let me know in the comments how many fingers got lost or how many points you got. How big of a Disney fan are you? All right. So now on to my five tr or, or my five facts I learned this morning that I didn't know, you guys. And I'm a super huge fan. Disney fat. So let me know if you guys knew any of these before I am telling you, okay? So, number one. So in Monsters, Inc., you guys know Monsters, Inc., it's Mike Wazowski and Sully, and they have Boo, the little girl. Did you guys know that Boo, her real name is Mary, and it's after the name of the person who voices Boo, her name is Mary, but the only reason you know this is because in Boo's room, one of the drawings in her room, it says Mary, like she wrote her name on it. So that's how you know her real name is Mary instead of Boo, because Boo's her nickname. Cool, huh? I didn't know that. All right, number two, the Walt Disney World Resort. So Walt Disney World is the one in Florida. Disneyland is in California. Unless you really are from Orlando or California, I don't think that you have very hard feelings about making sure that you specify which one those are, but I am from California, so I do specify. But this one, it does count because you need to know. The D Disney World Resort uh, is about the same size, so, um, the same size as San Francisco. So not like the same amount of people, but the same area and distance as the city of San Francisco. Isn't that crazy? Because Disney World is massive. They have a lot of land there. Because when they built, they had just bought up a bunch of land. Whereas California, they've built all around Disneyland. So it's kind of hard to build out. All right, number three. Walt Disney once played Peter Pan 
in a school play. That was kind of cool. He must have liked it a lot because then he did Peter Pan, the movie. Number four kind of goes along. We've got a party night tonight that is Lilo and Stitch themed. In Lilo and Stitch, they feature Elvis Presley songs, right? Like Stitch is obsessed with them. Lilo is in him at the same at the beginning of the movie. And in that movie, there's more Elvis Presley songs featured in Lilo and Stitch than in any of Elvis Presley's movies that he did. Because Elvis Presley did a lot of movies, but there was more Elvis Presley songs in the Lilo and Stitch movie. I thought that was kind of interesting. Didn't tell me numbers, but I thought it was kind of cool. Okay, last quote, or last uh, of the five facts. You'll have to tell me which ones you knew and which ones you didn't. Don't just tell me you knew it. If Just to get me, just to tease me, I know who you are. Mm -hmm. Which one of my troublemakers you are. Um, but the last one is, do you guys know when you go to Disney, um, everyone wears their little name badge and it says their name and where they're from. And at Disneyland, the employees only have their first name on their badge. And um, that's because... Walt hated to be called Mr. Disney. He wanted to be called Walt. So that's why there's only a first name and where they're from on their badge. So my husband has one because he worked at Disney. He worked in uh, Disneyland, but he worked at the Disneyland Hotel in one of the character dining restaurants. So he has one actually. So that's kind of a cool random fact for you guys today. So.